Got a fan. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he was dead, yet shall he live. Whosoever I know that my redeemer lives, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon <clears throat> this earth. And I shall see God, whom I shall see for myself. And my eyes shall behold and not another. We brought nothing into this world. And it is certain that we carry nothing out. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. <clears throat> Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear unto my cry. Hold not thou peace. At my teeth. For I was strange with thee, and a soldier, as all my fathers were. Oh, spare me that I may recover strength before I go hence and be no more. Lord, Thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, wherever thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. For a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday when it is past and as a watch in the night they are as a sleep. In the morning they are like grass which groweth up. In the evening it is cut down and withered. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our heart unto wisdom. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not walk. Make it me to lie down and green past. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. But thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. 
Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe in me also. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And whether I go, ye know the way. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest. How can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father except by me. Amen. You may be seated. It is now visitation time for you to visit the family.
time has come. This is the home going celebration. I know y'all can do better than me. Oh, yeah. 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 Amen. Oh, no. Amen. Uh, watching the program, I'm not the young lady that's. You can see that. But. <laughs> she was my aunt. Yeah. Some of y'all trying to figure it out. This time, we're going to follow the program. Let's give honor to our Lord, Savior Jesus Christ. And to the Is there any other ministers in the house that would like to join us? We have a selection by the granddaughter. Mm -hmm.
This time, if any of you ladies, just a few seats, if you want to sit down, I'm just old fashioned. Not to continue with the program. It's coming from the Old Testament, from the book of Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, verses 1 through 8. To everything there is a season. Yeah. And a time and to every purpose on the heavens. A time to be born, a time to die, mm -hmm. yeah. a time to plant, a time to pluck mm -hmm. up that which is planted, a time to kill, a time to heal, mm -hmm. a time to break down, a time to build up, a time to weep, a time to laugh, yeah. a time to moan. A time to dance, a time to cast away the stones, and a time to gather the stones together, a time to embrace, a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get, and a time to lose, a time to keep, a time to cast away, a time to read, a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak, well, a time to love, mm -hmm. and a time to hate, mm -hmm. a time of war, and a time of peace. Mm -hmm. Coming from the New Testament Revelations, Revelations 21, 3 through 4. I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle is God, and with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with him, and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor the crying, nor the pain. For the former things are passed away. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of the word. At this time we're going to have a prayer of comfort. Mm -hmm. All heads are bowed. Well, Let's focus on home going. Mm -hmm. Precious Lord, yeah. take my hand yeah. and lead me out. Yeah. Father, we know that you are in the midst of our family. Yes, yes. Yes. We didn't come here to stay. Yes, You're just here for a little while. Mm -hmm. yeah. Weeping may endure for a night, right. but joy yeah. going to come in the morning. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Precious Lord, touch this family yes, in a special way. Yeah. Lord, for the man that's going to bring you the word, yeah. use yeah. him any way you see fit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and for the congregation, Lord, we just thank each and every heart that's represented here today. Now, Father, as we go through these trials and tribulations, look unto the hills from which cometh our help. Yeah. Our help cometh from the Lord. And, Father, touch this family. Let them know that it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. She's just in a deep sleep, and someday when that final general resurrection, yeah. she's going to wake up in glory. Yeah. Yeah. And if you want to be there with her, you need yeah. to get right with God. Yeah. Father, we give you all the honor, we give you all the glory, and we give you all the praise. Yeah. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 This time we have a poem on Michelle Eves. and called my name and took me by my hand. The angel said my place was ready in heaven from above and that I had to leave behind all those I dearly love. Yes. <laughs> 
But when I walk through heaven's gates, I feel so much at home. For God looked down, smiled at me, and told me, welcome home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So when tomorrow starts without me, don't think we're far apart. For every time you think of me, I'm right there in your heart. Mm -hmm. I love you, Granny. Yeah. Amen. 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 This time we're going to have a selection from the original Sons of Zion. I know he liked it, but I see him there. Anybody see Brother Miller out there? Brother Miller. Oh 
know the word is chant him to you. We need to play it. That's one of the reasons why you get this. Because the time is not singing preacher, but I tell you when the spirit hit me, I don't care who right. it is. Right. My Bible says make a joyful noise. This is a home going. That's right. It is hard enough on the family, so y'all need to help lift them up a little bit. Amen. Alrighty, Amen. let me get back to what I'm going to <laughs> do. Acknowledgements. Do we have somebody join me? Resolution. Why they get in the cars? We gonna go to the remarks. Limited two minutes, and please don't let me have to tap you on the show. Oh. <laughs> have respect for the family. You know, it's, it's hard when you got to sit there and watch your loved one. It is. So uh, mm -hmm. it says family and friends. So somebody should have some remarks. Go ahead, sister. Okay. Y'all gonna force me to give y'all so now. <laughs> to the family, you have my deepest sympathy. I'm part of some of the family. But I've been knowing Della all of my life. We kind of lived in the neighborhood together. 
And I must say, she was a working, hard working woman. If you asked her to do anything, she would do it to her best ability. Amen. As I said, she's in the family, but she wasn't just a family, she was like a sister. I remember the time she came to one of my aunt's house. And when she cleaned the house, believe me, Mr. Clean didn't have nothing to do with it. Because <laughs> she would get out on her knees and scrub and shine. That was old-fashioned cleaning then. And she did a beautiful job. But I must say today, she's with God. Amen. She's shining. Yes, she's she polishing, yes, and the light is surely shining. Yes. For she has done her work here on earth. For 93 years, that is a remarkable thing. Amen. And she served, and she done her duties, mm -hmm. wherever she was, whenever she could. Yes. And I praise God to know her and to be part of the family. Hazel, I've been knowing all of my life. Amen. We kind of grew up together. <laughs> yeah. So today, don't be sad, be joyful. Cause she's going to a better home where the streets are paved with gold and the celestial singers will sing all day long. She's sitting at the bountiful table of Jesus Christ. Amen. So I must say, be joyful, be happy. Our hearts are heavy, but still rejoice. God bless the family. Amen. 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 One is Yeah, that's my granny right there. Yeah. Not just my granny, but all of our granny. Mm -hmm. And my granny loved each and every one of us with all of her heart. And I want y'all to know this lady right here, she fought her hard. She fought hard. When we thought she was giving up, she kept it. She kept on pushing. She just kept mm -hmm. on pushing. I'm the oldest grandchild. And she gave us, she gave the world 93 years. She gave me 52 years. Mm -hmm. And I used to say, Granny, if I can just live to be half of your age, Lord have mercy. But my granny, she was a strong lady. She was there for five generations. She had five generations of us. And I want you to know that last year, she, this is my son, this is my oldest son, he's the fourth generation. And she told me last year, she said, I just need him to give me a grandchild before I leave this earth. <laughs> and my little grandson is three months old, y'all. <laughs> And that was the last person that she remembered out of all of us that was there. We all were there. But up until a few hours before she took her last breath, she wanted to know how where her little man was. My grandma loved us with all our heart, y'all. She was there for each and every one of us. I'm going to miss her. That was my daily prayer. Every day that was my daily prayer, my granny. But I know that she wouldn't want us to sit around here being sad and down and out. She would want us to be happy and keep our heads up. So y'all, let's make this a celebration. Let's not make it a sad day. Let's make it a happy day. Amen. I love y'all. Amen. 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 This time we're going to have our so she's going to do the cards. Stay in the middle of precious Lord. Amen. 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 My cousin just said it all. Mm -hmm. She's the first grandchild. I'm the second. Her son is the first great grandchild. My daughter is the second. And I can't say anything, but everything she said was the truth. My grandma did everything for everybody. She remembered every birthday for every grandchild, great-grandchild, great-great-grandchild, child, <laughs> and everybody. 
And she, and she said, she cleaned me. I'm a living witness. Mm -hmm. They wanted to clean the house. Yes, and you can eat off the floor. And she passed it on to her children. And they passed it on to their children. Um, and you said, I'm going to read the cards. And then I think they're going to do the obituary. And then I'm going to sing her favorite hymn. Y'all pray for me. Because I don't know if I can do it. You can do it. We got you back. Um, on behalf of the family, thank you for everyone, if, even if you're not here, for everyone who has reached out to us, to each one of us, to the family as a whole, to the gifts that you sent, um, <coughs> just the cards, the texts, the calls, everything has made such a difference. It's made it easier to deal with. And like Michelle said, we had her all our lives. I had her for 50 years. I just turned 50 October 13th. I had her every day. Even if we weren't together, I still had her. With sympathy to all of you, to the family, soft in heart, tender in spirit, and fierce in faith, a good mother, but mostly a godly woman, at times like this, words cannot say the things we'd like them to, but know that caring thoughts are there with you and your family at this difficult time. Love and prayers, Reverend Dr. David Totten, Mrs. Donald Totten. Thank you. With sympathy. This message brings heartfelt sympathy for the sorrow you're feeling now. Deepest sympathy, Nancy Gilmer, Penny. Those who have brought us joy, made us laugh, and shown us love, have given us the lasting gifts of a beautiful life and, a blessed, and blessed our memories forever. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Lamentations 3, 22 and 23. Thanking God for your loved one's life and thinking of you with sympathy during this difficult time. God bless you. I don't know what that says. Something Hughes family. David Hughes? David Hughes family. Thank you. Please read the obituary style at this time. touching stuff and we kept trying to get her to stop touching stuff and she pointed over to my grandmother and she said granny and we all went and then she wanted to get on the bed with her so she climbed up on the bed and she took her right hand and she put it on grandma's chest and she took her left hand and put it on grandma's head and she kissed her on the forehead and she said granny and at that moment I just knew it wasn't going to be long because she, it was like she was ministering to her and it ministered to all of us because it was just so, you know, unexpected and precious at that moment. I'm going to do a little bit of, um, my grandma loved hymns. She loved every hymn in the hymn book, I think. But her favorite was Precious Lord. <laughs> But I'm going to do a little bit of I am dying before I do that. 
church say amen. 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 I'm going to slide this down a little bit. Because I, I want to be seen and heard. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Amen. 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 Jesus came. Yeah. When I'm burdened. Yes, he came. When I'm all alone. Yes, brother. And he came. When I'm in misery. I know, I know, Jesus cares, he cares for me, and he cares when I'm in sorrow, when my pain is so hard to bear, and he cares about my situation. It's so good to know he's always there. Yes, when my days get dark as night, he'll be there to make it all right. I know Jesus cares. I know. Jesus cares, he cares for me. When my friends don't understand, and when I've done the best I can, I know Jesus cares, I know. Jesus cares, he cares for me. When my shell came up and read, when tomorrow starts without me, and I always, you know, the preacher, he got to always say something to the family. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I was going to say. So since she beat me to the point, she fast like a mama. Always got to be first doing something. Amen. So I said, well, then I just do a verse of a song. And before I go any further, First, I want to give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. I want to give honor to Reverend Jeffers. We talked for a while and we finally remembered how we knew each other. He pastored a church not too far from where I live and I preached there for it. He probably couldn't remember because he whole lot of names. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised he remembered how to get here. Amen. 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 And I adopted Miss Mary. And I start calling her mom. Mary and I worked together for years. Mm -hmm. And the amazing thing about mom was her eyes. Those of you who came up in the generation that we older people came up in, when a mother look at you with mm -hmm. them eyes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Didn't have to say a word. And depending on how she looked at you with them eyes, mm -hmm. was 
worse than a butt whooping. <laughs> Some of you young folks don't know nothing about it. They take your cell phone and your TV from you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. We didn't have no cell phone. Now. All right. And no TV. Mm -hmm. Come on. But we did have a party line. Well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you was out in the neighborhood and did anything before you got that phone, <laughs> mom already. Yeah, yeah. we knew <coughs> Wasn't worried that much about daddy. Mm -hmm. He was in the fields all day. Well. But mom, I think she has a college degree in butt whooping. <laughs> <laughs> so, because she did it so well. And the first time I met mom, I stopped by Mary's house and she looked at me, she didn't say anything. Sweet lady, she didn't say anything. And uh, Barry told the lady, she wanted to know who you were, cause don't nobody tell me nothing around here. <laughs> <laughs> but the whole time I was there, I was looking at her eyes. <laughs> they could tell a whole lot about looking at you too. Yes, mm -hmm. Amen, amen. Saying that, if you came here for a funeral, then you need to leave now. Because we're not going to have no funeral. We're going to have church. And when you have church, folks say amen. Amen. Am I right? Amen. Our message for today comes from the this, second this Timothy, the fourth chapter of second Timothy, and the seventh and eighth verse. And they read as follows. I have fought a good fight. Go ahead. Somebody got to help me. Oh. I have finished my course. Oh. Mm -hmm. I have kept the faith. Oh, yeah. His for there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which the Lord, the righteous judge, oh, yes. mm -hmm. shall give me at that day. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. And not to me only, but to all them also <coughs> looking for his appearing. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very briefly, we will talk from the subject I fought a good, a good fight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. We was taught as kids not to start a fight. Mm -hmm. And we was taught not to jump in a fight. Oh, yeah. Yes. But I say unto you, jump into a good fight. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Jump into a good fight. Yeah. And I mean that fight of righteousness. Mm. Yeah. A fight of love, peace, yeah. and goodwill. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Jump in that fight and be a soldier of the Lord. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. I am. And Miss Mary would tell you. She would say, I'm a heavyweight champion. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I'm ready for my Championship belt. Oh, yes. Am I right, church? Well. I have been knocked down. Yeah. But before I was counted out, I got up. Oh, yeah. And fought some more. Yeah. There's two things about being knocked down. Mm. Some folk have 
rub them. You know what I mean? When they fall down, they kind of bounce a little bit. Happy chest. Go ahead. Then you got those stronger fighters that have springs in there. You know what I'm talking about. You knock them down, they just spring back up. Am I right, chest? Sister Mary was one of those you knock down, she springs right back up. Start fighting again. Am I right, church? I have finished my course. I ran a good race. Where's my checkered flag? Amen. Realizing that I won this race. This race, you don't have to be the swiftest to win it. But you do have to finish the race. Yeah. Yeah. Am I right, church? Mm -hmm. This Christmas journey is a hard journey. Yeah. Yeah. Don't let these TV evangelists fool you. All right. All right. Send me a thousand dollars and everything. Yeah. I'll be all right. Because yeah. everything will be all right for him. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't going to have no lights. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. This is a hard journey. Yes. You gotta be a fighter. Yes. Am I right, church? Yes. But I kept the faith. Mm -hmm. I've been talked about. Yes. Amen. Oh yeah. Amen. But I kept the faith. Uh -huh. Am I right, church? Mm -hmm. All right. I have been lied on. Oh yeah. yeah. Some of y'all ever been lied on? Mm -hmm. But I kept the faith. Oh, yeah. yes. I've been run down and ran over. Mm -hmm. yes. But I kept the faith. Mm -hmm. I've been criticized and victimized. Yes. But I kept the faith. I've been sick and got well. Yes. Oh, yeah. And I've been sick and didn't get well. Yes. But I kept the faith. I fought a good fight. Now place me in uh -huh, that great hall of fame. I mean that great hall of fame where I now sit as a cloud of witnesses that surround and surpasses us. I'm a right church. Uh -huh, uh, Paul knew that his time has come to an end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Oh, yes. Yes. He knew that mm -hmm. he would not leave this prison cell. Oh, yeah. He's been beaten. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy for going around calling on the name of the Lord. Yes. And he knew he wouldn't survive this attack. Oh yes. Yeah. Am I right? Mm -hmm. yeah. There comes a time in your life when you get that feeling that this old world just don't feel like home anymore. Oh, yeah. 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 Am I right? Yeah. It's soon and very soon. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. My, 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 my. My change is going to come. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Paul was letting Timothy know. He was giving him the last instructions. Yes. Carry out the work of the Lord. My, 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 my. Be strong. Yeah. And be diligent. Yeah. If Miss Mary could say a few words now, she would say family, mm -hmm. friends, oh, yeah. and to the ones who just came here to be curious, well. Satan don't want you to run this race. Mm -hmm. He wants you to wreck, yeah. crash and burn. Yeah. Can I preach just for a minute? Yeah. Well, I'm going to yeah. tell you yeah. something. Satan will blow on yeah. you. Mm -hmm. he been blowing 93 years. Yeah. He's been blowing on you. Yeah. He's been blowing on you. Yeah. Trying to knock you down. My, 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 my. 
He done blown on my age. Yeah. Just like he blown on your age. Yeah. Come on Am I right? Boy, yeah. I know I'm right. Yeah. Oh, say that. You see, I can't run as fast as I used to. Well, he done blow it on my legs. Right now. Go ahead, Satan. Yeah. Blow on my legs. Yeah. Oh, run in the hell. My footsteps yeah. is slow and getting slower. Yeah. But he done blow on my footsteps. Oh, Satan. Go ahead and blow on my feet. I'm just going to take it one step at a time. Am I right? Oh, he done blown on my head. He done blown on my health. Am I right? Go ahead and blow on me. Blow on my head. My mind is made up. And my heart is fixed. I'm in this race. I'm in it to win it. Am I right? If I can't say a mumbling word, I'll just wait. Smile on it. God bless you. Yeah. Amen. 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 Amen.
For as much as it has pleased Almighty God to take from this world our beloved mother, our sister, Miss Mary Gibbon, thereby we commit the body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. And I heard a voice from heaven to say, Blessed are they that died alone. Our Father in heaven, mm -hmm. we come at this hour to ask that you throw your ever loving, mm -hmm. everlasting arms around this family. Mm -hmm. Keep them reminded that she's gone but not forgotten. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. She will always be in your heart. Yeah. And in your mind. Mm -hmm. And to understand that this way is the way that you gotta go to. Bless us collectively and bless us individually until we all meet again. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Um, Benediction. I told you I'm getting old as he is. <laughs> Pastor for years and forgot how to do a benediction. <laughs> do the benediction, Reverend. Let us all stand with the family. And now may the grace of God speak to you in his Holy Spirit. Yes, yeah, through the Bible, henceforth, now, and forever. Let the redeemer of the Lord say, Amen. 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 I'm going to ask that you remain standing until the family. On behalf of Calvin's Funeral Home, we would like to thank each and every one who came out and supported this family today. We ask you that you will continue to pray for this family. Continue with your phone calls and texts. So many often times that after the service, we forget about the family, but the grieving process just begins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, on behalf of Callis Funeral Home, we realize you had a choice. We thank you for allowing us to serve you during this time. And it is our prayer that God will continue 
to comfort you during this time. The benediction has been given. We ask that you please wait for the family to answer. I'm going to ask the ministers to answer first, please. Thank you.